Hey boys and girls, we are going to start a project this week and we will um, work on finishing it next week. So what we want to do is we want to, um, and this works better with a square piece of paper, so if you can um, work with a square piece of paper, but we are going to draw a line straight down the middle and then straight across and make a plus sign. Um, and then we're gonna do corner to corner and make sure you go right through the middle where the other two lines meet. Like that, okay. And then we're gonna draw out our spider web. Um, so what we wanna do is we want to make a rainbow or a frowny face and stop. And then I like to, while I do this, turn the paper because you get used to making that same line and so it ends up being a little bit easier if you turn the paper as you go. So there's one line, so I'm gonna come down um, about a that far and I will do another one and this is going to create our spider web and then the last one And then in each individual section of these, um, I'm going to do a Zentangle um, pattern. And if you have not looked at the Zentangle patterns, if you go back to where the lesson is listed, if you look over in the supplies, um, it has the Zentangle patterns that come up on a Google document. Um, and this is what they look like. So you look at how to do the pattern and you can um, either do them in each triangular section or in each section. So you can fill a triangular section with one pattern and then move on to another pattern and another pattern, or you can do each individual section. So um, let's say I wanted to do this one. I would just start come in and do a little one that I could leave white. Okay, and then when I fill it in, I would color in the big section. So I can go ahead and do a little line in there to remind myself that when I fill it in, I'm going to um, color in those parts. Okay, so once you get them all filled in, then you are going to 
start tracing them with Sharpie. And you can um, see that I've traced the outline of the spider web first, and then I'm gonna come in. You can see here are some of my pencil ones, and then these are the ones I've traced. And I am going to continue working on that and um, finish that and then we'll meet again next week and finish this project where we will add color to our spider web and then make the um, sculpture of the spider using tin foil. So make sure you have some aluminum foil um, for that spider sculpture. Have a great week and I'll catch up with you soon.